is Warsaw, Poland, and it is the capital city of Poland. It is home to 3 million residents and it has the only underground metro system in the entire country. 85% of the city was destroyed during and after World War II, so it is a place where old meets new. It's a city where old time charm contrasts with the wide Soviet boulevards and monumental architecture. Today, I'm going to take you on a tour of Warsaw, Poland by transit, by walking, and by cycling. And then we are going to give the city a human mobility score. This is Szymilna Street in the heart of Warsaw, and it is the main east-west pedestrian route through the center of the city. It's a pedestrianized street, but deliveries are not a problem. During the non-busy hours, there's delivery trucks coming through all the time. There are some interesting intersection treatments along this pedestrianized street. On this intersection, for example, the cross street raises up higher to meet the pedestrianized zone at sidewalk level. Check out how these giant wood planters extend the pedestrian space, allowing for cafe seating behind me. On the shopping street, there's also a few little plazas, and this one in particular has benches, and you even have a pear tree that you can grab a fruit from. Normally, you would have to cross eight of these zebra stripes, but because of that thing, I only have to cross four. These temporary barriers are a great way to narrow the street and provide curved bump outs, which slows the speed of traffic. They provide additional safety by also decreasing the turning radius available for cars. There are no traffic lights along the zebra crossing, which means pedestrians get right of way on this whole intersection. Ah, that was a good coffee. Warsaw is investing a lot in improving its public space. The monumental buildings in the city leave lots of room to be converted into green space like this one. Warsaw is also building plenty of bike lanes as you see here, and they're upgrading the bike lanes to become wider and more comfortable for cyclists. Come over here and I'll show you what they've done with a bike lane. This bike lane behind me is an example of a poorly designed bike lane. The right turn lane for the cars and the bikes cross each other at a non 90 degree angle, making it difficult to check for traffic conflicts. On the other side of the same street, this bike path is perfectly designed for all ages and abilities. It's completely separated and it has zebras for pedestrians. This bike lane isn't very long, but it turns this segment of a one-way street for cars into a two-way street for bikes, allowing you to bike down this next street over here. This street was full of cars yesterday, but when we got here this morning, they put concrete barriers on both sides. These concrete barriers still leave room for delivery vans to kind of meander through, but at a very slow speed. And there's plenty of rooms for bikes and pedestrians to come onto the street. So now we can ride our bikes in the middle of the street. It's fantastic. This video is brought to you by Urban Mobility Explained. And if you love learning about urban mobility, check out their new courses completely free at urbanmobilitycourses.eu. Link in the description below. This is the station where both metro lines of Warsaw intersect. Come on, I'll give you a tour. The Warsaw metro system is a relatively new construction. The first line, M1, was built in 1995, and M2 is almost brand new. It didn't get built until 2015. These color screens make for very easy wayfinding in the metro network, and they do announcements in Polish and English. It's so cool that they put the station name in neon signage here. One thing I noticed is that most stations were very deep underground, leading to long escalator rides like this one to get out. Merry Christmas, look at what we have here. Some tire levers, some multi-tools, a screwdriver, and even a bike pump. 
This is great for if you have a flat on your bike or if you need to quick stop and fix something. It's also conveniently located next to a lot of scooters if you really need to get somewhere. There's lots of scooter share options here in Warsaw, and behind me you can see Dot, Lime, and the popular Tier scooters as well. I love using the scooters in this system because the bike paths are mostly asphalt, and they make for a very nice ride on these small wheels. This cable stayed bridge was built in the year 2000 and crosses the Vistula River that divides Warsaw, Poland. To make room for this bridge, they had to move the former highway into a tunnel, creating the park space that we see today. Imagine this was once a massive six lane highway but they had to bury it underground because it has only three meters of clearance and you can't get trucks under the bridge. A hundred? What a great urban gym here. You have a skate park in the back and lots of places to stay healthy, all under a highway underpass that's next to the river. This is an example of excellent public space in Warsaw down by the river. There's space for scooter share, a bike path, and even some hammocks for when you get tired. As part of this park, there's also places to walk along the river that's fully separated from motor traffic. Hey, this must lead to the bus station and the underground highway. Let's go check it out. My God, that was so loud down there. I'm gonna get hearing damage at this rate. It must be the loudest bus stop that I've ever been at. I'm glad up here at least in the park, it's nice and quiet. Come on, let's get out of here. We've come to the end of this tour of Warsaw, Poland, and now it is time to give the city a human mobility score. The metro system built in the last decade was absolutely immaculate, but there was just not enough lines to go around this large city. Some of the slack is picked up by the very extensive tram and bus network, but the frequencies are lacking and it gets stuck in gridlock with all the other traffic. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give the city a three out of five for transit. Walking in the city is made easy by the generous width of the sidewalks. However, it's at the intersections where you're forced to wait for a long time as a pedestrian. You have all this wide space on the sidewalk, but that doesn't mitigate all the noise from the traffic going across the wide boulevards that cut straight through the city. The city is working hard to improve the pedestrian environment by using plenty of bump outs at the curbs where there's extra road space and installing bollards so cars have to make tighter turns and slow down on these streets. I personally enjoy the monumental architecture in this city, and for all of these reasons, I give walking a four out of five. The bike share system is great value for exploring the city, but only if you stick to the designated bikeway routes. I enjoyed all the greenery in this city, especially around the bridge and the tunnel area where they've made the new park. The overall system felt quite disjointed and it did not have a overall cohesive network. I especially enjoyed cycling through the old town, but due to the patchy bike network, I can only give cycling in this city a three out of five. For all these reasons, I give Warsaw Poland a human mobility score of 10 out of 15. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next city. When I get high, I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like Brian. So, back in peak transit. <laughs> when I get, when I get,